I'm David Sutter from WyoPreps.com, and our Athlete of the Week feature is brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Wyoming. And this week's girls winner is Caitlin Moore from the high school rodeo scene. Had a really interesting weekend with three rodeos. You had Sheridan and Buffalo on Saturday, followed by Buffalo's first performance Sunday, and then their second performance on Memorial Day Monday. Let's see, you won both rounds in the Buffalo rodeo, pole bending. You won goat tying on the second round at Buffalo, finished a fifth in the first round. You were third in the goat tying in the Sheridan, and then added a sixth place in breakaway. You, young lady, are a very busy rodeo contestant. How how would you kind of describe and, and sum up how your Memorial Day weekend was? It So it kind of started off a little rough. I had a tough day on the first day, but then I was just like, well, I got to go out there and have some good runs, and they went well. Well, talk a little bit about winning the pole bending. What What is that like for you, and does that give you kind of confidence with some of the other events that you do? Yes, I've been struggling with my horse a little, so to finally get some good runs felt real good. Talk about your goat time. You did place in all three of the rodeo performances in Buffalo, shared in the two rounds of Buffalo, winning the last one. What What kind of progressively maybe got better for you? So the first round, I kind of drew a tough goat. He was wild on the end of the string, but I just got to him and got him down. And then the second go is just, I didn't ride my horse fast enough. And then in that last go, it was pretty picture perfect. <laughs> so you, all of a sudden, here we are at the end of the regular season. You got the state finals coming up. How would you kind of assess how this spring portion of the season has gone for you, Kaylin? I think it's gone pretty well. I started off a little rough, but got much better. And I'm feeling good going into state. You are busy. As I mentioned, you, you won the polls, all the goat tying. Six in the one round of breakaway, but you were also competing in barrel racing, team roping, and I'm probably yep. forgetting something else. But <laughs> how do you keep track of it all? And or do you just like to be that busy at a rodeo on the weekend? Uh kind of having stuff back to back helps me keep my head straight and I don't get too stressed about anything. So for you, what's what's kind of the key for these individual events? Or do you have kind of one thing that you really focus in on? Um, I try and practice them all equally. Sometimes I don't get to them. I use a lot of the same horses, so that's nice. Okay, so you mentioned not some great runs in the polls. What is kind of the key for you and your horse in that regard? Um, I just haven't been putting as much time into her as I needed to. And then that past week, I really rode her, and I think that helped a lot. All right, so next big question, how do you keep it going next week at the state finals in Rock Springs? I'm just going to stay after it this week and keep my head clear. All right. So, are you? I mean, obviously, I think your position where you might be able to, to get to the National High School Finals Rodeo in July back in Rock Springs, how much of a benefit is it to compete Rock Springs in the regular season so you know what it's like when it comes to the it's, finals and then maybe next month as well? It's pretty nice. We get to use one of the same arenas, so you just kind of know your way around and stuff. It's good. What do you love so much about the sport of rodeo? I just love how you can have there. Everybody's a competitor, but you're also such good friends. Gotcha. And then tell me about your horses. What what makes them so special to you? Well, my horse that I run poles and tie goats on, I actually got from my cousin Tommy, and she's we've my mom trained her, and she's pretty special. All right. And you use another horse for barrels and breakaway. Yep, I use a gray horse I've had for a couple of years, and I trained her in the breakaway, and she's finally starting to come on, so that feels good. All right. Well, hey, thanks so much for taking a few minutes. Congrats on being our Athlete of the Week, and best look at the state finals next week. Thank you. We continue with our Athlete of the Week feature here at wildpreps.com, brought to you by our great friends of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Wyoming. We're talking with another rodeo athlete who had an outstanding weekend. Didn't uh, end up performing in the Sheridan Rodeo last Saturday kind of had some things with high school graduation. So we'll give you a pass on that, Tucker. I'm just kidding, of course. Yeah. But uh, another great weekend for you in bareback. You win both rounds in Buffalo, identical 70-point rides. How did it feel last weekend, Sunday, Monday, up in Buffalo at the rodeo? Oh, it was pretty good. Um, coming off graduation, just getting a bunch of stuff done, getting getting out of school and everything, going to a rodeo, uh, kind of nice little tune-ups before state and everything. So, yeah, it all felt pretty good. Obviously, I think a lot of people, especially in the rodeo world, know who you are, know you're a two-time 
National High School Finals Rodeo Champ in that event. Does that kind of carry any weight going into each of these performances? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, every weekend's a little bit different. You can, it kind of depends on draw and who's there and uh, just how everybody's doing that week. Uh, so yeah, it don't it don't really matter. We got pretty good competition in Wyoming, and um, yeah. I got to ask you, how do you have pretty consistent performances? Because I was looking through things, and I know last weekend in Buffalo was your 13th and 14th win in bareback this season. So what's your kind of key to being consistent with your rides? Um, Mostly just trying to go to as many rodeos and go to all of them that I can and keep practicing and keep tuned up and um, just trying to do what I what I can do. And been pretty lucky with all the draw I've gotten this year in uh, high school rodeos. So, yeah, just thinking that uh, getting the right horses and everything, that it all works out. Well, speaking of that, uh, what's kind of your mindset when you're, when you're getting ready to ride? What's going through your mind? Oh, right now, just trying to keep everything in tune and make sure I'm doing everything correctly and uh, keep progressing a little little that I can every ride. And, uh, yeah, pretty much just trying to stay technical. Okay. So are there certain things that you work on? when you're just riding and, and kind of, I guess, quote unquote, practicing? Um, yeah, a little bit kind of depends. Um, some weekends, uh, might have, might have a little, little difficulties with your feet or your hand or just body position, whatnot. Um, so getting on the next one, just focusing on trying to correct what you did, what I did the ride before. Okay. Obviously, as I mentioned, you've had a lot of success. So what are you looking forward to as you get ready for the state finals uh, coming up next week in Rock Springs? Um, pretty much just hoping for good draw at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah, just having fun with everybody that I'm riding with and hopefully get good draw and just keep doing what I'm doing. Speaking of that, obviously for rodeo contestants, a lot of times, especially in rough stock events, it is kind of the luck of the draw. But do you kind of know some of the stock now that you've been through this a, a while where you can kind of sit there and hope and, and that you get the right draw? Oh yeah. Um, a lot of the horses that are at most of the high school shows, uh, our contractors do good mixing up horses every, every other weekend or whatnot. But uh, a lot of the horses that are there have been there every weekend and, uh, everybody pretty much takes stats on all the horses knowing which ones are better than the others. And, <clears throat> what you can do on some. So yeah, we definitely sit by and wait for the draw, hoping for specific horses or putting our heads down when we draw the ones we don't want. <laughs> well, talk a little bit about, I know you've been around rodeo for a long time. Where does your passion, your love for this sport come from? Oh man. Um, it all kind of started. My dad uh, rodeoed when he was, when he was a little bit younger and everything. And I've just kind of been around it my whole life and uh, going to Vegas one year, seeing, seeing all this stuff at the NFR and everything. And I uh, just wanted to get into it. And once I got on my first one, when I was little on ponies, it just kind of stuck with me and just wanted to keep going. Well, you are one of the stars of high school rodeo here in Wyoming and across the country. Uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to visit with me and congrats on being our athlete of the week. Good luck next week at the state finals. Thank you. Appreciate it.